Hey guys, Deanpo here with another video. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'll try and keep it light, and it's not something I usually like doing, that's speculation. But hey, what the hell, right? They throw they, they threw a curveball at us with this war dancer event, so we might as well speculate, right? So judging on the game's past track record, right? They they've released all these different units. So you have Virgil, you have Akuma, you have Iryu, now Goken. Um, they all share one or two things in common, right? They're all exceptionally well at what they do. So for PvP and for bossing. So Evil Ryu is a Bison killer, boosts your team's damage. Then you have Akuma, who's a back row killer. Not the greatest boss unit. People cream over him. I, I don't really see what the hype is about. As you can see, mine's pretty maxed. I have, you know, how many cars here? Four cars there. Four cars there. And four cars there, right? It's good. But is he the best for bossing? Absolutely not. Someone like C Viper out DPS is in, right? And I have no duplicate cars on her. Uh, but he's very effective at what he does, especially for PvP. And you have someone like Virgil. Virgil right now is top of the pyramid. Probably share top with Bison, right? Absolute beast. He wrecks teams. I've seen him wreck two or three characters at a time. Just one taps him. Like... Like an anchor and, a, and like a mid unit. And then Elena jumps in to heal him. This guy pops off his super. All three of them dead. Just the tank remaining, right? Insane, insane, insane damage. So judging by that pattern of how they release the units. And they're all broken in their, their own right. I think Elena will follow suit. Only she's not going to be a DPS unit. She's not going to be like a street poison unit. She'll be a healer again. And she will have one ability... Or two potentially that just got introduced to the game. One of it being revival. She'll be able to revive a party member at some point throughout the match, where she'll need, you know, stacks of her specific resource, whatever they give her. Um, call it whatever you want. She'll be able to revive units at least once, kind of like what Goken can do. And given that Goken shields your army as well, and she she can heal it. Sorry, but army in your team, uh, she can heal it. I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate. Um, and she can heal your team. I think she also may get um, a Rose's ability to debuff. Don't hold me to it. She'll either buff or debuff. It'll be either or. But she'll be a, a healer on steroids and she'll be able to revive. Mark my words. That will be her kit and she'll probably be a must-have for showdown. Or even for bosses if you, if you need her for healing, right? I know a lot of people refrain from using her for bosses because it's more like damage, get all the damage, dish it out you can and then get out of there. I think she might change that trend as we've seen bosses now burning your team. A, you know, a, we can sit here and speculate, but I'm fairly certain. And I have, mind you, just, uh, just <laughs> throwing it out that I have absolutely no insider knowledge of this game, right? But if I had to put my money on it, I'd say she'll be a healer, she'll be able to revive, and she'll either buff or debuff. But they will not change who she is. And we've seen that happen with Rose, right? Whereas it's like Divine Rose or Normal Rose, she still remained a support unit. And I don't expect that trend to change. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, and also let me know if you're going to be waiting to invest in her, or you're going to... Hold on to your tickets. Maybe wait for nin uh, for the Ninja Turtles or whatever it is. I'm kind of got it that it's not Ninja Turtles, but you know it gives us time to save up our tickets. I've been saving mine up, so I'm up to like 495 special tickets, and I have some uh, divination as well. Be very careful how you spend your resources because they'll keep releasing new characters, and you know you can't build all of them, especially if you're free to play. Only pick and choose what you need, right? And only build them up to what you need them to be. So, for example, if you look at my laner here, gear is not fancy, pretty standard. I have not, you know, leveled up her FS30 because there's absolutely no need. It's actually, you know what, it's detrimental for you if you do. Because her FS30, what it does is essentially, she does curing down 60%, sorry, she has a 60% chance to trigger Brave Dance. Essentially, she jumps in the middle, tries to be a hero, and gets her cheeks clapped. You don't need a hero, you need a healer, right? You need someone that can jump in, heal, and get the fuck out. That's what you want in a healer. She's in tag for a reason, right? 
and let your other units do what they're meant to do. But yeah, so hopefully, you know, we're going to keep getting all these units released. I'm hoping that we're going to get a lot more factional units. It's, it's so good to see the meta changing. I'm sick and tired of teams running, like, you know, people running the same teams over and over again in Showdown. Every man and his dog these days runs a Sea Viper, Elena, Bizang, and Bison. Like every, you know, team combo all the time. It's it's just getting over it. You know, I mean, rightfully so. If you see here a, you know, a Sea Viper, Elena, Bizang team with a Honda, not, not even a, a Bison in there, right? With, with a Honda managed to take out a god tier team so if you see any of my tier list which i need, now need to go and change you'll see bison ken bizang and elena i've put them down as god tier god tier team right because they were untouchable until we got the soul power update and now it's like well thanks for coming but you know <laughs> you have to redo your tier list all over again those are my thoughts um let me know what you think but once again hopefully we get you know a lot more new units they'll change the meta hopefully people are not scared to invest in the new units or even even in the old units right there's so much potential in here that's untapped like only recently came to light that dull sim is actually based at pv and events right before that when uh, flame charlie got released people absolutely crapped on her right they saw how good f blanca was and then when she came no one really knew, oh, well, sorry, no one really understood how mechanics work until like three months or four months there down the track when people started testing it properly and they realized she's an absolute weapon, right? The more st stacks she puts on, the more damage your team does. And we pair her up with Blanca or uh, Dalsim now. Insane, insane amount of damage. So if we go to Guild here, for example, Shadowlands, I um, never budged past the 650, 700 million mark. Now I'm like 1.1 billion. Same with uh, Mecha Zang here almost 1.1 billion again right and if you look at the people that are coming behind me here well, these are people that are much much higher level and this event is not level capped right so i am doing more damage than than, than oops i won't show you what level i am but i'm doing more damage than people that are like 20 30 levels above me vix is like 420 now or some some <laughs> some crazy shit like that right so hopefully people continue to test you know the meta changes we see a lot of diversity in showdown we see a lot more diversity in in boss fights i just want to see more team comps being viable right i'm sick of the current meta and sorry for, <laughs> for the rant but i'm really sick of it right people keep running the same teams and it's just getting tiresome and boring anyways guys l please let me know your thoughts in the comment section also feel free to dm me if you need help for your showdown teams or, or your um, bossing teams i'm here to help also, um, I can send you a link to our, to my Discord. Um, you know, I constantly help people there all the time as well. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.